Hi. Again, we are here the bending procedure. Okay? So, this is our knotting. Knotting, of course, this is the east, west, and south. Hi guys, welcome to Piping Welding and GT channel. So this is a wire bending technique and we have a drawing here. This is an isometric drawing and this is a normal bend. So this is all is 90 degrees and we will count it the 90 degrees elbow. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, we have a 4 90 degrees elbow. So how to bend it this into wire bending? So this is a very simple, okay? You must know first the orientation. So we have orientation north, okay? This is an important north thing, okay? For the wire bending oh. technique, this is a I'm very simple. And this is our first, we have one, one and we have a two line this is a line line two and going to this is a going to north this is our north this is like this north and also make it this line is going up also okay like this and going to south okay this is the wire in actual actual wire bending okay we have an orientation here this is north south is west so this is our elevation 2000 and we have elevation let's say this is elevation 1500 okay 
so this is the wire bending technique so thanks for watching guys and have a nice day bye 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 hi guys welcome to piping welding and dt channel so this is a wire bending so we have a drawing here so this is isometric drawing if you can see this drawing we have a vertical shadow so this is this line and this line we have a normal bend so first things you need to do is the orientation okay let's say we have we have this is our north this south and this is um, east west okay so this is called an orientation this is very important to read the isometric drawing this is the orientation okay and also for the wire bending so this is a wire for the wire bending you must first check the orientation okay also the next is the elevation okay let's say this our elevation is 5000 and we have elevation here is 3000 okay so it means this elevation is higher for this uh for this elevation okay to bend this wire check the uh, north thing so we have a north this is our north so first make it our uh, wire is horizontal for this square for this um for this line okay make it north it so this is our north north and then this line is going down so it means the elevation is 3000 and the elevation is 5000 it means this is going down okay this is down and then this line is going to east okay and then make it bend to going to east like this and then we have a line going to north okay so line is going north make it proper and squareness so our bend is a good and beautiful okay now next we have a line going here it means this line is going to west okay like this okay next we have a shadow here with what shadow is this one this is a vertical shadow it means our line is going up vertical okay so this is a vertical shadow we have a shadow here with a vertical shadow okay re let's review our uh, vent you must uh, review your vent before you give it to the interviewer okay so we have one line one two going down three and this is four and this is five and this is six going to a vertical shadow so thank you thanks for watching guys i hope you have learned about this video for a wire bending technique for the five peter and this is important for the interviewer you must know this the wire bending so that the, uh, the interviewer is impressed to you okay thanks for watching guys and have a nice day bye bye see you in my next video hi guys welcome to piping welding and dt channel so this is a wire bending technique so the horizontal and the vertical if you see this um 30 by 60 triangle if you know the horizontal and the vertical in the drawing okay in the isometric drawing we have a vertical shadow so this is the vertical shadow okay in the actual so this is our 30 by 60 triangle in this shadow the shadow is like this okay shadow like this 
And also the hour pipe is a vertical like this. Okay? Now, if the horizontal is um if our horizontal is so this is our uh, line and we have and uh, our uh, horizontal is this is our horizontal shadow and the actual triangle this is our triangle and the actual line of this triangle of our line is like this this is not a vertical and this is the horizontal okay like this okay the position is like this so this is our shadow okay and the vertical vertical shadow so this is our shadow and the horizontal shadow which is like this our horizontal shadow in this line okay in actual wire bending okay this is our wire bending in actual wire bending this is important because this is always an interview in the our Peter usually you must know though for the first time of first timer of the five feeder for being a five feeder but in the um, expert in the five feeder you know this already okay but the first time five feeder you must know this one okay so the line of the horizontal shadow for this um a wire is like that okay we have a shadow here this horizontal and if the vertical shadow if we have a vertical shadow okay so this is our vertical shadow and our line like this so this is our a vertical shadow so thanks for watching guys i hope you have learned about this uh, wire bending and more videos come about this uh, wire bending so have a nice day bye bye see you next time hello guys welcome to piping welding and ndt channel so we have a 45 degrees elbow and 90 degrees elbow so on this video i will show you the take up of this 45 degrees elbow and the 90 degrees elbow so from the new coming of the from the five feeder so new five feeder so you must know this uh, take up of 45 degrees and 90 degrees elbow for the veterans for the five feeder this is uh, no problem for the veterans for this um, take up of 90 degrees and 45 degrees elbow okay for the new five feeder this is a uh, very important to get the uh, uh, spool okay you cut it in the center to center of elbow so first you must know the formula of this uh, 45 degrees elbow so first 45 degrees elbow we have a formula of um, 5 8 this is inches okay and for the millimeter is 15.8 okay so if you want to uh, uh, English uh, in the inches for the this decimal you must uh, just uh, divide it this 5 divide 8 okay and the answer is 0.625 Okay, to get the take off, let, let, let example our uh, elbow 45 degrees is the diameter is uh, we have um, 8 inch diameter. Okay, to get the take off of this uh, 45 degrees elbow, just multiply it 5 8, multiply it to 8 equals it was the uh, take off the 45 degrees elbow okay let's try it for the calculator so just divide it the 5 divide 8 equals 
5.625 to multiply this 8. Okay, so easy multiplication. So multiply it to 8. Okay, so this is our take of 5. So our answer for the this, this is TO means take of our answer is so 5. Okay. If you want to the millimeter, just multiply it with this for this 15.8 uh, to get the millimeter. This is 5 inch. Okay. Next is 90 degrees elbow. So this is uh, the same way and the same uh, comp computation. Okay. For this 90 degrees elbow, um, 38.1 this is for the millimeter okay and and 1.5 this is for the inches just now the same diameter we have 8 just multiply it to 8 okay to get the take up so 1.5 multiply it to 8 equals 1.5 so we have answer is 12. So this is the way to get the take up of 45 degrees elbow and 90 degrees elbow. Okay. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have learned about this uh, take up of 45 degrees and uh, 90 degrees elbow. So thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye. See you in my next video. hello guys welcome to piping welding and ndt channel i will show you how to draw a box we're using this ruler and 30 by 60 triangle okay and on this box all piping is involved in this box and I will show you the technique if they have a shadow on the isometric drawing and you can make it this box okay draw and then this is a 30 degrees Then other side again. So this ruler is a permanent our guide. This is our guide. This ruler, okay. This easy how to draw a box. You are seeing thirty by sixty triangle. Just measure here. Okay, we have a 70, and from this side also is a 70 centimeter, and this side is 70 centimeter, and then our height is also 70 centimeter. Okay.
Measure the 70 here. Okay, and 70 here also. Also here is a 70 centimeter. And 70 centimeter. Okay. Just project here. And project here. Okay. And then this again this thirty by sixty triangle. And measure again the seventy centimeter here. All this is equal, okay. Just put a dotted here so that we can see inside of the box. From this box, I will show you all the orientation from isometric drawing okay. let's say this is our orientation north okay so we have a north here this end is our northing and this is south this is and this is west okay from the isometric drawing so this is this is the isometric drawing so this is a very simple isometric drawing because this drawing is only a straight line and we have only a branch here one branch okay from this box I will show you how to this is the secret of the piping okay and you can see what is the vertical and what is the uh, horizontal shadow and where is going of the pipe this is going north east southwest or we have um, rolling offset okay so from this box let's say this is our line okay So let's say this is line and the next line is going up okay and then going north okay so just put here the symbols of shop weld okay Okay, so this is our line. So let's say this is uh, 8 inch and going up and going to north. Okay, so this is our orientation north and this is our uh, east. And then going up and then this is going to north. So what is shadow? So a shadow is reflect here. Okay. This is the shadow. It means this shadow. It means this is a the vertical line. Okay. So this is a 45 degrees going up. Okay. So this is the important of the of the box. Okay. So next we will make another line if our line is going here 
uh, let's say this is our like and then make it uh, this uh, we will make a put a 90 degrees elbow here and then this line is going to west okay and then going down going down and then this started is going to east okay so our line is this one going up and then going to north and then going to west and down and then going to um, east if our line is going to um, let's say going like this okay for example going up here going up here and then going there so this our elbow so our uh, this line is 90 degrees elbow we can make a shadow here okay so this is a different elevation this example elevation is 2000 and this is elevation is 1000 okay so this <coughs> line is from the bottom of this line okay from the 2000 so this uh, the important of um, how to make in box and how to make box in the isometric drawing okay and we have orientation noting and we have um, sizing we have elevation we have a shadow here okay if our shadow is um, like for example this is our line and this next line is going here so our shadow is uh, like this okay so it means this is a um, horizontal shadow okay going to north and uh, I mean going to east and this going to north okay with horizontal shadow so this is a ve very simple and that te this is the technique of the isometric drawing so that you cannot confuse how to read the isometric drawing where it's going up this line and where it's going to uh, roll the uh, rolling offset and how, how to read this horizontal and vertical shadow okay guys so this is the technique of the isometric drawing and i already represented to you the box okay make it make it the box so guys thanks for watching guys and see you in my next video guys bye